So, we've been talking about Ammon and Aaron and their mission off to the Lamanites. And they've had some great success. Think about all the things they've done with King Lamoni and with Lamoni's father, the king over all the Lamanites, and how many people had been converted. It was a wonderful thing. And these people that had been converted, they really had to repent. Lamanites had done some pretty wicked things, and they had killed people, and they had robbed, stolen things from people, and so they had to do some serious repenting. And they decided that they were going to make a covenant with Heavenly Father, that they were never going to do that type of thing again, and they needed to do something that would express that covenant. So they took all of their swords and their clubs and their weapons of war, whatever they had, and they had a big, big hole in the ground and they buried all of their weapons down in this hole. And it says in the scriptures that they did this as a testimony to God that they never would use weapons again for the shedding of man's blood covenanting with God that rather than shed blood of their brethren, they would give up their own lives. Rather than take from a brother, they would give to him. And rather than spend their days in idleness, they would labor abundantly with their hands. So they would spend their days working and giving service and helping other people instead of just taking whatever they wanted. And they would never murder or kill again. And they buried up all these weapons in the earth, down far where they couldn't get to them anymore. And that was their covenant. And they were going to live that covenant no matter what. Well, that was great. But the other Lamanites, the Lamanites that had not been converted, they weren't so happy with what was happening with these Lamanites. And they weren't so happy with what the king was doing. And so they got together an army and they were going to go fight against these others. And it says in the scriptures there that the Lamanites made preparations for war and came up to the land of Nephi for the purpose of destroying the king and to place another king in his stead and of destroying the people of anti-Nephi-Lehi out of the land. They just wanted to get rid of these converts, put in their own king, and keep living the way that they already had. Now. They got this army together, and the army came against these converts. I don't know about you, but if I saw this coming after me, I'd start thinking, ha uh, ha, uh, maybe I should go dig up my sword and fight again, because these guys look pretty fierce. I don't know. But that's not what the people of Ammon did. They held fast to their covenants. And it says that instead of getting their swords and everything, they went out to meet the army and just knelt down before them on the ground and began to call on the name of the Lord. So they just prayed instead of getting their swords and everything. I think that's pretty impressive. I would have been a little scared to do that, but they did it. They um, just knelt down and prayed. Well, the army came and they did kill quite a few of them. But you know what happened? Some of those soldiers, as they were watching these converts just praising God, praying to Him, um, not being afraid to be killed, they started thinking, um, what's going on here? Am I doing something wrong? Maybe I shouldn't be killing these people. And it says that quite a few of them stopped, these soldiers just stopped slaying them. There were many whose hearts had swollen in them for those of their brethren, and they repented of the things which they had done. They threw down their weapons of war and would not take them again. And it says that even more people than were killed joined the people of Ammon. And so they had a good experience with um, turning something that was horribly bad into something that was pretty good, that they had lots of people join them and um, believe in God with them. Now, so the army went away, and they realized what was happening. They, they went away for a while, but Ammon knew that they would be coming back. 
And they, um, Ammon went to the king and said, you know what? We really should just get out of here. We shouldn't just wait for the army to come back and kill us all. Let's go and go to Zarahemla, where I'm from. Let's go back and live with the Nephites. Well, the king's like, <laughs> you mean the Nephites that we've had war with and that we have done all these horrible things to? I don't think those Nephites are going to want us to live with them. Well, Ammon said, well, let me pray to Heavenly Father. And if Heavenly Father says go, let's go. And the king says, well, okay, well, we'll go, but we'll just be the slaves for the Nephites. And Ammon says, no, slavery's wrong. We can't, we don't have slaves in the Nephite culture. That's just wrong. But just let me pray to Heavenly Father. And if he says go, will you go? And the king says, okay, we'll do what Heavenly Father says. If he tells us to stay and just be slaughtered, that's fine. We'll do that. If he tells us to go, we'll go. Well, Ammon prayed to the Lord. And of course, Heavenly Father said, get those people out of here. We don't want them to be killed. So they packed up all their stuff. They packed up their sheep and their goats and their um, whatever they had with them, their clothes and their food. And they traveled to the land of Zarahemla, where Ammon and his brethren were from. Now, if I were one of those people, I'd be a little nervous there too, because I've left my home there in Lamanite land. But... I'm not 100% sure I'm going to have a home in Nephite land. Uh, you're kind of in between and you're not sure what's going to happen. But they did it in faith. They followed what Heavenly Father said and they left. Now when they got to Zarahemla, Ammon and his brothers went ahead and they went and talked to Alma. And Alma was the leader of the church there. And remember they'd been great friends before. Now it had been 14 years that these missionaries had been gone. Can you imagine how glad Alma was to see them? To see that they were okay, that they hadn't gotten hurt, and that they were all still um, strong in the church together. And not only that, but he brought all these thousands of converted, converted Lamanites to come with him. And that just thrilled Alma to no end. And so Alma talks with the chief judge, and they talk with the people. They have a big vote with all of the people, explain the situation, and ask the people, okay, what do you want to do? And uh, the people, the Nephites, voted, yes, let's have those converted Lamanites come and live here. We'll give them this land over here, this land of Jershon, and they can live there, and we'll put our armies around them to protect them. To me, that... I love the story of throwing the swords and all that into the, you know, not fighting, being willing to stand up for your convictions. But I love this part about the Nephites being willing to overlook all of their past history with the Lamanites and give these Lamanites a second chance. They were refugees. They had nowhere to live. And the Nephites said, come, live with us. Live here in our land. We will take care of you. We will protect you from the Lamanites. I think that is a really good lesson for us to learn. So when we have times, in the next couple of years, you guys are going to be making covenants. You're going to be baptized, and you'll make a covenant with Heavenly Father that you will always obey the commandments, that you will remember Jesus and try to follow him as best you can. There may be times when it's hard for you when you have a decision to make or you are tempted to act in a way that you know is against those covenants. Well, I want you to remember those people of Ammon. Remember how strong they were in putting away their past life and in becoming new people through Jesus Christ and knowing that their strength can help your strength and can help you live up to the covenants that you will be making. And I know that's true. And I leave that with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.